Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Ayurveda Free Health Insurance. I have a good news for you from this week. I'll start to upload a new yoga sequence every week, especially for beginners for the practice and learning purposes both. So you can practice this sequence whole week and you will get ready yourself for the next week sequence. So let's get started. So here our first pose is Tadasan Mountain Pose. So for this pose you need to uh, stand straight on your mat. Big toes, inner heels touching, legs straight, arms straight by your side, palms facing your thighs and gaze is forward. So here in the pose, spread the mounts of your toes, press the big toe mount down, press through the center of your heel, lift the top of your thighs up as you lift your kneecaps up, then move the back. Then move the top of your buttock down as you lift the sides of your waist up, abdomen in. Then draw your shoulder blades in and move the top of your shoulder down away from your ears, downward through the fingertips and chin level and gaze is forward and breathe. Then to come out of the pose, we move to the next pose. Before moving to the next pose, I will show you from my back side how to draw your shoulder blades in. So for this one, we need to maintain our Thadasana. And here you can see these are our shoulder blades, the triangular bone on our upper back. So here when I'm saying draw your shoulder blades in, so you can see I'm drawing my shoulder blades in and then move the top of my shoulder down. This way you get extension in your upper back. Next pose is Urdu Hastasan in Thadasan. For this pose again, start in Thadasan. And Thadasan is the basic pose of all the standing poses. So when you go in the pose and when you come out of the pose, you always come in Thadasana. Thadasana is a very, very important pose to learn. You are really learning the basic actions in the standing poses. So here again stand in Tadasana then bring your hands in front of you and bring your arms overhead. Your fingers not open they are touching each other palm together. So this way. Then here as we did in Tadasana press your feet down through the big toe mount and through the center of your heel lift the top of your thighs up and bring the top of thighs back then move the top of buttock down as you extend the sides of your waist up then draw your shoulder blades in and move the shoulders away from your ear extend your arm through the fingertips fingertips reaching towards the ceiling but not this way we need to reach them this way our chest is collapsing which we don't want so here draw your shoulder blades in and move the shoulders down and broaden your chest. Then extend your arm through the fingertips towards the ceiling. Make sure you maintain the Thadasana. Press through the center of your heel down. Then to come out of the pose, press your feet down, trunk extended. Then bring your arm in front of you and come back to Thadasana. Then next pose is Urdhva Badhangulyasana, upward extended bound finger pose. So again start with Thadasana, bring your hands in front of you, then interlock your finger and observe which little finger on your loose side so you will not confuse when you change your interlock. Then turn your palms in front of you, then bring your arms overhead. Again, as we did in Thadasana, press your feet down, lift the top of your thighs up and move your thighs back. Move the top of your buttock down and lift the sides of your waist up. Draw your shoulder blades in and move the top of shoulder down. Then extend your arm from elbow to wrist as you widen your palm and chin level. So here when I say widen your palm, you need to widen your palm this way, not pushing. If you push it, 
you will extend your arm from shoulders but when i say widen your palm this means you are extending your arm from elbow to the wrist then to come out of the pose press into your feet extend your chunk arms extended and then bring your arms in front of you then change the interlock and turn your palms in front of you and bring your arms overhead make sure your arms in line with your ears then again as we did in tadasana press your big toe mount down press through the center of your heel lift the top of your thighs up as you lift your kneecaps up then move the top of thighs back move the top of buttock down as you lift the sides of your waist up abdomen in don't take your abdomen out so abdomen in draw your shoulder blades in and move the top of shoulder down away from your ear then extend your arm from elbow to the wrist as you widen your palm toward the ceiling chin level gaze forward and breathe then to come out of the pose press into your feet trunk extended arm extended bring your arm in front of you then release the interlock and come back to tadasana then from here our next pose is namaskarasan in tadasana then bring your hands in namaskar position in front of you make sure you maintain your tadasana big toes inner heels touching legs straight arms straight always draw your shoulder blades in then from here we go to the urdhva namaskar asana in tadasana so bring your hands overhead in namaskar asana here press your palm evenly each other left palm into right and right palm pressing back into your left palm again here in the pose press through the center of your heel lift the top of your thighs up and bring the thighs back maintain it and then move the top of buttock down as you lift the sides of your waist up draw your shoulder blades in and move the top of shoulder down then press your palm into each other as you extend your arms up towards the ceiling chin level gaze is forward and breathe then to come out of the pose press into your feet trunk extended then bring your arms down and then come back to tadasan Our next pose is Uttit Hast Padasan extended hand So again start with Tadasana big toes inner heels touching then here bend your legs bring your hands in front of you then jump your feet wide apart here if you are not able to jump I'll show you you can step your feet so for this one stand in Tadasana then bend your legs jump or step your feet wide apart so you can jump or you can step your feet wide apart so here make sure your ankles under your wrist so this much wider step we want then make your both feet parallel to each other your toes facing forward arms reaching trunk extended upward here in the pose press into the outer and inner edges of your feet then lift the top of your thighs up as you lift the knee caps up then move the thigh back move the top of buttocks down as you extend the sides of your waist up draw your shoulder blades in and shoulders down away from your ear arms reaching through the fingertips and chin level So here you are learn how to evenly distribute your weight. Then to come out of the pose, press into your feet, then bend your legs, then jump or step back to Tadasana. If you can't jump, you can step back in Tadasana. Next pose is Parsho Hast Padasan, side hand and foot pose. So again start with Tadasan, big toes, inner heels touching. 
legs straight arms straight by your side then bend your legs jump or step your feet wide apart again ankles under your wrist uthit hastapadasan then from here bring your left leg in and bring your right leg all the way out so here we are learning to turn our legs to the side way but our trunk will be in middle of our legs so here when we turn our legs what happen this one but we don't need to do that one so for this one what we need to do here in the pose press your outer left heel down and bring the top of left thigh back then press the right big toe mount down and bring the top of right thigh out so you can align your right knee with your right ankle both legs are straight arms straight then bring the top of your buttocks down as you extend the sides of your waist up then draw your shoulder blades in and move the shoulders down arms reaching through the fingertips and chin level then repeat on another side then bring your feet parallel then bring your right leg in and bring your left leg all the way out so here one more thing you need to keep in mind that your left heel will align with the in a step of your right foot or whatever your front leg is should be aligned with your back foot in a step one more thing if you have shoulder and neck issues and your arms are little hurting you can bring them on your vest so here again in the pose we need to keep our torso in middle so for this one in the pose press your outer right heel down bring the top of right thigh back then press the left big toe mount down and bring the top of left thigh out both legs are straight then move the top of buttock down as you extend the sides of your waist up then draw your shoulder blades in and move the top of shoulder down both arms are reaching to the side through the fingertips chin level trunk extended arm reaching then to come out of the pose bring your feet to the parallel then jump or step back to tadasana our next pose is uthit trikonasan extended triangle pose so for this pose everybody will use bricks or if you don't have bricks you need some height at least this much height you need to use so set up your bricks on this vertical height on the back side of your mat we are using bricks or height so we can learn the extension of the trunk so here our motto is we learn the alignment correctly and how we can extension get the extension in our trunk so again start with tadasan big toes inner heels touching then bend your legs jump or step your feet wide apart uthit hastapadasan ankles under your wrist then turn your left foot in turn your right leg all the way out again here your right heel should be align with your left foot in a step so parshu hastapadasana trunk extended arm reaching then exhale extend your torso towards right leg then bring your right arm on the brick brick will go outer side of your right ankle and left arm reaching up if you have shoulder and neck issue you can bring your hand on your vest in the pose as we did in parshu hastapadasan press your outer left heel down bring the top of left thigh back press the right big toe mount down and bring the top of outer right thigh out to align your right knee with your right ankle then press your left arm into the brick as you straighten your arm left arm reaching up through the fingertips then draw your shoulder blades in and give more extension to your trunk and broaden your chest from center towards your fingertips and look forward then to come out of the pose press into your outer left heel down pull through your left arm 
inhale and come up trunk extended arm reaching then repeat on another side bring your right leg in bring your left leg all the way out again parshvastapadasan your left heel should be aligned with your right foot is right foot in a step trunk extended arm reaching then axel extend your trunk towards your left leg then bring your left arm on the brick brick will go outer side of your ankle right arm reaching up if you have neck or shoulder issue you can bring your hand on your vest then in the pose press your outer right heel down bring the top of right thigh back then press your left big toe down down bring the top of your left thigh out to align your left knee with your left ankle then press your left hand into the brick as you straighten your left arm right arm reaching up through the fingertips then draw your shoulder blades in extend your torso more then extend your chest from center towards fingertips and look forward then to come out of the pose press into the outer right heel down pull through your right arm inhale and come up trunk extended arm reaching then bring your feet to the parallel then jump or step back to tadasana our next pose is parshottanasana intense side stretch pose but today we are learning very very basic two actions how we turn to the side and how we make our upper back concave and then in next weeks we move to the full pose so here again start with tadasana bend your legs jump or step your feet wide apart then here bring your hands on your vest then bring your left leg all the way in and bring your right leg all the way out so you can turn your whole torso towards the right side both legs are straight then draw your shoulder blades in chest up head up so this is the very very basic actions of this pose which we need to learn to progress then to come out press into your feet tighten your legs and bring your feet to the parallel then repeat on another side so bring your right leg all the way in bring your left leg all the way out and turn your torso towards the left side of the room so here make sure your pelvis your torso in a line with the left side of the room then draw your shoulder blades in chest up head up then to come out of the pose bring your feet to the parallel then jump or step back to tadasana one more thing i tell you here so when you go in parshottanasana and when i ask you turn your left leg all the way in and turn your right leg all the way out so sometime what happens in beginning our whole trunk or pelvis don't turn to the right in a right way so for this one what you can do to turn more to your right side lift your left heel then pivot on the balls of your left foot so this way it helps you to turn towards right side and then slowly bring back your left heel and then bring the shoulder blades in chest up head up both legs are straight then come to parallel and repeat on another side same way right leg all the way in left leg all the way out again lift the right heel and pivot on the balls of your right foot to turn more to the right then bring your heel bone slowly back both legs are straight draw your shoulder blades in to move your shoulder blades in you can shift your elbows back or move your elbows more back chest up head up 
and then bring your feet parallel and then jump or step back to Tadasana. So here in this pose, when I say concave back, you can see. So when I say make your back concave, so what I need to say when you draw your shoulder blades in, your dorsal spine go in and this way we get more extension which we need for the full pose so we first we need to learn this one how we can draw our shoulder blades in chest up and make your dorsal spine in so you can make your upper back concave so this action we really need to learn for the progress next pose is prasrit padottasan extended wide foot pose so again this is just very basic of this pose for the progression we will learn then start with Thadasana bend your legs jump or step your feet wide apart so here as this is the widest pose so bring your hand on your vest and then make your step little wider so here you can ask how much we need to wide so you can see I need to make my feet wider so I can press into my feet inner and outer edges of my feet but if I make it more wider you can see my outer edges of feet come up so we need to make the feet wider so our inner and outer edges of feet presses evenly here again your feet should be parallel toes facing forward then bring your hand on your vest draw your shoulder blades in move your elbows back to make your back concave dorsal spine in chest up head up here in the pose press into the outer and inner edges of your feet lift the top of your thighs up to tighten your kneecaps then move the thighs back but x down extend the sides of your waist up then to come out of the pose press into your feet and step in your feet and then come back to tadas our next pose is dandasan staff pose sitting pose so for all the sitting pose we will start to sit on a height height gives us the extension of our spine so it's very very important that in beginning you sit on a height so fold it two blankets and sit on them and if you have yoga blankets this is called headstand size blanket then fold it in half and put them over each other or you can use any height any blanket so it's important you sit on a height i'll show you when you sit on a height naturally you get an extension of your spine but if I sit down and I'm a beginner in yoga you can see my chest collapsed my spine collapsed so when you sit on a height it really helps to give an extension to your spine sit on your height and extend your leg in front of you legs straight big toes inner heels touching and arms by your side on your blankets as we talk about tadasana which is the basic pose of the standing asanas the same way dandasan is the basic asana of all the sitting asanas when we go in another sitting asanas we go out in the pose from dandasan and we come out of the pose in dandasana so it's basic pose of all the sitting poses so make sure you learn it correctly so here press through the center of your heels to the ground as you extend the back side of your leg from buttock towards heel press the big toe mounts forward and bring the little toe side towards back you then bring the top of your thighs towards your pelvis then press your hands into the blanket as you extend the sides of your waist up 
move the top of buttock down then draw your shoulder blades in and move the top of shoulder down away from your ear chin level and gaze is forward these poses when we sit on ground looks easy but when you try to do all the actions in a correct way you feel the pose the pose reflects on you then from here maintain the dandasana bring your arms to side then turn your palms up so they are facing towards the ceiling then bring your arms over head palm facing each other so here again in the pose press through the center of your heels extend the back side of your leg from buttock towards heel bring the big toes towards forward you and bring the little toes towards you move the top of your buttock down as you extend the sides of your waist up draw your shoulder blades in and move the shoulders down away from your ear extend your arm through the fingertips toward the ceiling then to come out of the pose press your center heel down bring your arms down and then bring them back by your hip side take a moment here then again maintain your dandasana big toes inner heels touching and extend your arm in urdhva hast dandasan then exhale and bring your trunk forward and catch hold the big toes and extend your torso and forward chest lifted head up and then release your hands and come back to dandasana here if you are not able to catch hold of your toes you always can use a strap so you can use a strap any belt or a scarf whatever you have any rope so you can go and get a rope so we can see how we can do padangushta dandasana with the strap or rope so here again maintain your dandasana then bring your strap and bring it around the balls of your feet and here press through the center of your heel extend your leg from buttock towards heel press the big toe mount into the strap move the top of buttock down as you extend the sides of your waist up then pull the strap as you draw your shoulder blades in chest up head up extend your torso forward and upward then release the strap and sit in dandasan then our next pose is pachimottasan forward bend pose so again we start with dandasan sit in dandasan arms by your side then bring your hand in urdhva hastasan in dandasan then on exhale extend your torso forward catch hold of the big toes then again exhale bend your elbow to the out and up then bring your chin then your forehead towards your shin then to come out of the pose inhale raise your chest raise your head and then release your hands and come up back to dandasan so here again if we are not able to catch hold our toes we always can use a strap or belt so here our goal is not to touch your shins with your forehead our main goal is to learn the extension from the bottom of our spine to the top of your spine so to learn this one we learn the basic actions in dandasana first how we press our center of heels down how we bring the top of our thighs back buttocks down lift the sides of your waist up then we extend our torso forward and upward then we maintain this here then extend our torso forward then exhale and bring our chin first then forehead to our shin so let me show you 
you can use a strap around the balls of your feet here then maintain your dandasana actions then pull the strap as you draw your shoulder blades in chest up head up extend your trunk forward and upward then on exhale bend your elbow to the out and up extend your trunk forward then bring your chin then your forehead towards your shin then to come out of the pose inhale raise your head raise your chest to come up if your back is very stiff you can just learn the extension you can catch hold near to the strap and just learn the extension how you can extend your torso upward and forward then release the strap sit in dandasana for a moment then our last or next pose is savasan corpse pose so for this pose lay down on your back with bent leg then draw your shoulder blades in abdomen relax then maintain this and extend your legs one after other then release your legs from hip and move them side your palms facing up then slowly close your eyes from top to bottom savasan is about relaxation we are laying down on the ground so let go gravity is taking care of us so release relax let go here we can observe observe from where your body is feel tense where it relaxed how today's yoga session is reflecting to you observe your breath in and out movement through your rib cage abdomen in and out and never think savasan is just a lying down pose Savasan is the most difficult pose. We need to learn how quickly, how easily we can learn how to relax our body and our mind. And after finishing every yoga session, you must need to do Savasana. I recommend you if you have time do the Savasana for 5 to 10 minutes. if you don't have time 2 to 3 minutes swasana should be done swasana is the time when we can observe our body our mind after yoga session how the poses are reflecting we can see here we get the opportunity to release relax let go then to come out of the pose bring your hands on your abdomen slowly start to bend your legs one after other then roll to your side take a moment here then press your left hand inhale and come back to sitting in cross leg pose sukhasana and again close your eyes then bring your palms in front of you then bow your head to your heart namaste i hope today's yoga session will be useful for you be gentle with yourself keep practicing and practice in a right way always be careful when you go into a pose and when you come out of the pose 
try to learn all the actions in a right way how to align your body and the extension of your trunk all these actions are important to progress in our practice don't forget to subscribe my channel take good care of yourself because health is well see you in next video with another sequence of the week bye